you are going to see a short preview of the lecture video available on sonoshare.in on the topic mal rotation of midgut prenatal diagnosis short snippets of the various parts of the lecture video will follow having gone through the preview if you wish to listen to the main lecture video go to sonoshare.in i'll do this uh, lecture under the transverse colon as the midgut lengthens, it also rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise around the axis of the combined superior mesenteric artery and umbilical cord. The cranial limb of the midgut, now on the right side of the umbilical cord, becomes highly convoluted throughout the next few weeks. The caudal limb of the midgut, now on the left side of the umbilical cord, grows a small cecal bud, ultimately becoming the cecum and appendix of the colon. During the 10th week of development, the midgut retracts back into the abdominal cavity and rotates an additional 180 degrees counterclockwise for a total 270 degree rotation of the intestines. The duodenum, jejunum, and ileum are now inside the borders of the entire colon, which is composed of an ascending part, a transverse part, a descending part, and a sigmoid part. Lack of space within the abdomen, it herniates into the umbilical cord because of the elongation, disproportionate elongation. And um, the loop is now craniocardal, degrees counterclockwise. So as a result, the, uh, the, the, which, the cranial limb, which was uh, on the, at zero degrees, the anomaly of the rotation of midgut, resulting in anomalous fixation also, is in midline, floating, uh, and uh, there is also um, a, because of the end you see the superior mesenteric vein to the right of superior mesenteric artery. So this is the normal relationship and you see the first and second parts of the duodenum on the artery here and the superior mesenteric vein is to the left of superior mesenteric artery. So this is the abnormal uh, relationship of this whereas in mal rotation of midgut the uh, fixation is uh, with a narrow mesenteric pedicle which is a predisposing uh, feature to mal rotation of midgut and it is good if diagnosed because the surgeon will be prepared thus it can lead to ischemia and atresia of bowel or perforation leading to meconium seen in the fetus or one is duodenal obstruction which may uh, lead to the diagnosis of mal rotation small bowel valvulus or whereas in mal rotation the superior mesenteric vein is anterior to the left of superior mesenteric uh, second part of duodenum so these lats bands as i told you uh, are uh, peritoneal bands extending from right paracolic region to the c cup so it compresses the second demonstrate the uh, continuity between the two uh, bubbles and uh, <coughs> the uh, once you see this phrenic uh, vein and then the, the uh, main portal vein and the right portal vein. So uh, red, so the superior mesenteric artery is red, so the superior mesenteric artery is to the right and the superior mesenteric vein is to the uh, left. So that is the superior mesenteric artery and uh, superior mesenteric vein is to the left of superior mesenteric blue. But suppose you tilt the transducer like this, because very little tilt in the fetus is enough to change this. So when you see, tilt the when you take this like that, then there is a, the angle of incidence is very favorable. So you will see definitely that uh, you see a longer uh, length, uh, a greater length of the suture. So it is blue. So artery will be in blue. So this is superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric vein is seen actually to the left of superior mesenteric artery. So as a result, the uh, manifestation, the dilatation of the uh, duodenum will be uh, lesser in degree and a later uh, occurrence rotation in the case of duodenal obstruction. Here, when you move the transducer down, you can see the uh, sonographic whirlpool sign with grayscale 
as well as in color. So that is the sonographic whirlpools uh, valvulus, which is uh, 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 which is chronic, and uh, after some time of the occurrence, it's not acute. So you see the atresia. So you see, uh, a diagonally dilated jejunum, and distal to that, you will see the small bowels as an apple peak. So left is anterior, right posterior. So that is the uh, superior mesenteric artery on the uh, left side, red and the superior mesenteric vein in blue on the and the ischemia of bowel with the uh, perforation of the small bowel may not be diagnosed and complicated when you see one of the uh, three complications of duodenal obstruction, valvulus or uh, uh, atresia, then you can look for uh, and uh, the diagnostic feature is the superior mesenteric vein on the left side of the superior mesenteric.